my last big oval and I decided I'm going to use all of my bits of paint that was left over and do an all colored one and I'm uh, going to do a flip cup because I love that the most and there's just bits of color so I'm going to be using a lot of color just a lot of different colors I mean okay that's that one used up and I have a little bit of my uh, ring pour. I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put in some. Oh, this looks like it's just about right. All of these paints are all Americana. A little bit of yellow. A little bit of purple. This is uh, Sargent's. Uh, oh, I've got to water this down a bit. This is Sargent's uh, metallic paint, liquid liquid metal, I think it's called. Oof, that got so thick. Oops. This is one I hadn't uh, mixed up right the right amount of water in it when I when I first set it over there because they were the metallic ones that I pre-mixed and oh, I'm so sloppy. Oh, that's getting better. One more glove probably do it. That metallic purple is so pretty. I'll put the blue right next to that. The red next to that. And the yellow. Do I still have enough for another small one? But I'll wait till I've got more colors. I should have added that I'll just pour it in that one. In the blue there. It's done. Okay, I'm going to do this a flip and drag because of the size of this. I'm not somebody who, who is good enough to just do pour the cup over fast enough. I don't think my reflexes are that fast. Oh, I can see lots of colors in that. Lots of colors coming out. Okay. I'll make sure all the paint gets down to the bottom. Okay. All right. That's that's kind of pretty. I think I'm going to torch this one because I see bubbles. Oh yeah, we're going to get a whole bunch of cells in this one. That's what you get with the cup. Look at all the bubbles in there. That's from me beating that paint up to. Okay, I think that's good. Get 
some more gloves on. Yeah, I really like that color yellow. That's primary yellow. That's uh, that's uh, Americana's primary yellow. And all the rest were the same colors we already talked about. Primary red and primary yellow were the only two colors that I added. But there was red from the previous ones too. I was going to add a little bit of black to this, but I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is because I, I kind of like this just the way it is. Pretty bright colors. I like that. I think that's pretty. For all of the leftover paint, I think that's really pretty. I love it. It's got the lacing on the side. I'm going to stretch that out a bit more. There's too much paint on here. I really don't want to leave that much paint on, so I'm going to tip some off over this way. Okay, I think that got it off. I think that's enough. Alright, so that's what I do with my leftover paint. I never throw anything out. I just save it and you make an all-colored one. So that's all for this video and I'm going to make another so I've got three small canvases to do the same and if this video isn't too long I'll add some of them on the ends of these other videos so but I'll I'll see when I edit them all right thanks for watching